Hi everyone, welcome to Reality Paints. We have an exciting new feature that we want to show off to you. It's called the Texture Transformer. Now right now this is a feature inside Reality Paint under Utility Tools Texture Transformer, but it is going to be available as a standalone application as well in the very near future. But right now the way to get it is through Reality Paint, both Standard and Pro. And what this does is it transforms textures between two different character types, uh, and at this particular time it converts between Victoria 4 by Daz 3D to Dawn by Hivewire 3D. And so first off, before we do the conversion, let me show you the texture we're going to convert. And it's going to be, this is Electro by uh, Studio Art of Vartanian. And uh, this character was actually designed using Blacksmith 3D, the predecessor to, um, to Reality Paint. <laughs> now, um, it, the, now, these textures, are we're going to transform them into uh, we're going to transform the to Dawn, all right? And so we notice that we've also keep things PG-13. We've added a little bit of a bikini here. Um, so uh, let's just take a little look around. And one thing to notice is that there's a little bit of a red hue. That's because in the materials, there's some little extra advanced stuff going on here with the, uh, um, with the colors where it's not quite white here and there's some extra things. So that's not going to be preserved. What we're going to just be getting is the actual texture file. So when it comes out, it's not going to look so red. So don't worry about that. Uh, so anyway, let's just go ahead and do the conversion. So let's just get to one more look here is what it looks like originally. Okay. And here we go. So we're going to do texture transformer. And here we go. Uh, so we just say welcome to texture transformer, blah, blah, blah. Next. Now please locate the source CR2 file. And this is the character that Victoria 4 is. It's based on Victoria 4. Here we have Electra V4. All right. Okay. Open next now let's say please locate the destination cr2 file this is the character you're converting it to and that's going to be a dawn cr2 file there we go and click next and please locate the folder to output the newly created files and this is going to we're going to put that all in the same folder here so here we go we're just going to put it all in there you can put that anywhere you like it's best to put it in a runtime structure so the paths will be relative for the textures when in the generated mat file Mat file is a suppose file which is made to specifically set up the textures for you. So you don't have to do that manually. And so here we have additional options. We have an output prefix, and so we're, each of the file names generated are going to have transformed with an underscore at the beginning. You can change that if you like. Uh, image files a PNG or JPEG. We're going to keep PNG. And we're going to go for a high resolution, a typically 4000 by 4000, depending on which map is being converted. <coughs> so now we click Next. And then we have a final step. Please press transform to begin the transformation. So we click it here and we're transforming. And it's going to be maybe between one to three minutes, depending on how fast your CPU is. And assuming you have enough RAM and all that. And anyway, just sit back, uh, go get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever. And when you come back, it'll be done. So we're going to cut the tape right now and we're going to restart it uh, when the texture conversion has completed. Now that the texture transformer has finished this conversion, let's take a look at the results. Um, so uh, inside Reality Paint, I'm just going to zoom around and take a look. And uh, let's just let's see here. Uh, everything's looking pretty seamless here, pretty smooth. Uh, we notice we have uh, high resolution maps here and uh, a lot of map boundaries and UV seams. So let's take a look at those. Okay, right here, we have the boundary between the, the head map and the body map. And let's take a look here. This is the resolution visualizer. It just helps you to see uh, color code where things are in UV space. So the grid helps to show you if there's warping. Uh, now, if we look at this, there that's a very seamless transition. It's extremely hard to detect uh, the presence of the UV seams. Um, so it's especially with the high resolution. With lower resolutions, there's always a little something. You could just by the way the pixels are. But see, so just taking a look here. That, these are the seam transitions here, and they're pretty darn good. So uh, let's just take a look around a bit more. Uh, let's take a look at the feet here. And okay, notice the uh, the toenails and the skin are, are nice, and the textures haven't bl bled into each other. They they remain separate. We've taken a lot of these little things into consideration. We want <coughs> to get a a really clean, crisp conversion with as few issues as possible. And notice the same thing with the hands. The nails are nice and separate, distinct. And 
and let's look at some UV seams here as well. Okay, there's a nice UV seam, and yeah, hard to notice it. Excellent. So let's go back out here and let's take a look. So, oh yes, uh, I want to look also notice that now see these parts here, these are the eyelashes which are meant to have transparency maps, and in the color channel, they don't, this, they don't have any um, texture applied to them, they're just meant to be a solid color. But if I look at transparency maps here, we can see that the transparency maps for the eyelashes have been generated accordingly. And uh, let's go back to color maps. And wait a moment. Here we go. And let's also do just another quick little look here to say, uh, let, let's select the ma um, materials here. And we're going to hide these bits, hide selected surface, so we can take a look at the inner mouth. And you notice how the inner mouth textures have been converted as well. So, and there we have tongue, gums, teeth, eyeballs, so on and so forth. So, all right, so enough of that. Let's take a look at it inside Poser and to see what kind of results we get here. So, here is the original Dawn character with the original textures uh, with the jumpsuit added. And we're going to now apply these newly converted textures uh, that came from Victoria 4. So uh, here's the same folder, excuse me for a moment. See this transformed map? This is the file that was generated which will automatically apply these new textures to this character. So uh, if I just click, double click on here and just wait a moment. We'll notice the new texture is now being applied to Dawn. And I'm going to click render just to give it a quick look. This was a previous render. Uh, just while we're waiting, you can notice that. Oh, here we go. And at this, we can notice that there is um, there's bump maps, there's transparency maps, and there's color maps that have been converted. I'm going to zoom in just a little more and render this again. One more time. So, yes, yeah, so we can see here, you can see the result of the bump maps, you can see the transparency maps, color maps are obvious, um, so have all been converted using this process. So, uh, we'll just go over to the material room just to show you a few things here. Um, okay, we have these, uh, these, image, these nodes that have been created. Um, oh yes, if you wanted to convert a map of a different type, just say you had a uh, a separate displacement map and you wanted to convert that then <coughs> the, what you would do is you can just inside Poser here you can manually take that map texture file apply it to one of the supported types like uh, the color or the bump or the transparency do a conversion and then set and get those files that are generated rename them if you want and then reassign them inside Poser and uh, as time goes on we're going to add more map support so more of these map types will be supported but right now it's just transparency pump and and color diffuse maps that are supported so uh, there you are there you have it so uh, that is the texture transformer which converts textures from uh, a Victoria 4 to Dawn and it's available right now inside reality paint and coming soon as a standalone application. So thank you very much for watching that video. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more news to come regarding this brand new exciting feature. Bye for now.